Hey, I'm Craig. Welcome back to Fight the Flat Earth, the channel that shows how flirt stupidity is observable, measurable, and repeatable. Yesterday, we went through the misconceptions that the pea brain dumbass flirts have about the Mike's and Morley experiment. Today, on episode 5 of Explaining Simple Stuff to Flirts, we're going to take a look at why they don't understand the experiment known as Aries Failure. If you guys are enjoying these short explanation videos, then let me know in the comments, and together we can wipe this disgusting flirt disease off the face of our beautiful globe. Stick around for another short burst of knowledge. We're living on a disc, floating through space, with a tiny sun. <laughs> Aries failure was an experiment that proved that the heavenly bodies are in motion, while we are not, using telescopes with water. Telescopes have to be very slightly tilted to get the starlight going down the axis of the tube because the Earth's speed around the sun. Aries filled the telescope with water that greatly slowed down the speed of the light inside the telescope and found that he did not have to change the angle of the telescope. This showed that the starlight was already coming in at the correct angle so that no change was needed. This demonstrated that it was the stars moving relative to a stationary Earth, and not the fast orbiting Earth moving relative to the comparatively stationary stars. If it was the telescope moving, he would have had to change the angle. The video that I've used the past couple of days is from a channel called Flat Earth Talk. I just want to ask, what is wrong with the guy? Was he dropped on his head as a child or something? Because once again, he's come to completely the wrong conclusion. The 1871 experiment by George Airy was an attempt to determine the drag on light that would change the stellar aberration of a suitable star that was directly overhead. However, his entire experiment was based on the false assumption that light needed a medium to travel through, commonly referred to at the time as the Aether. Airy filled the telescope with water and observed the passage of light into the telescope, as Aether theory indicated that a telescope filled with water would produce different effects than one filled with air. The experiment was repeated several times over the course of six months. Airy's experimental data appeared to show no apparent motion of the Earth, as the starlight did not behave the way expected on the heliocentric model. However, the results were skewed based on the false assumption of the existence of the luminiferous Aether. The experiment became known as Aries failure as no motion was detected, but the actual result was the same as yesterday's Michelson Morley experiment, and that was determined that the Aether did not exist. So, once again, if a simple minded flurf comes up to you and says that Aries failure proves a flat earth, you can tell them directly that they are talking shite. I hope you've enjoyed these couple of shorter videos. I plan to do a lot more on things like the Sagnac experiment and Einstein's theory of relativity and Nikola Tesla. However, I've had a lot of comments asking for more in-depth explanations. So in the new year, I'm going to start a series of short documentaries on great scientific endeavors. Still to come this week is episode five of Flurfs Are Idiots, where we take a look at Phuket Word. And I've also got a stream with Conspiracy Cats and Planner Walk on Planner Walk's channel to celebrate his 666th subscriber. That's going to be at 1900 GMT on Saturday. Make sure you're subscribed to Planner Walk and you've got some questions prepared because me, Conspiracy Cats and Planner Walk are going to answer all the questions live. A special massive thanks to my Patreons who are going to soon be able to vote on a lot of the content of my videos. If you want to get involved with that, then go to my Patreon, which is in the description, or you can just get yourself some sweet merch like a t-shirt or hoodie from my store. Remember, stupidity is not a right. Fight the flat earth. We're living on a disc, floating through space with a tiny sun. Fight the flat earth. Fight the flat earth. Fight the flat earth.